friends, Joseph Phelan here from Small Town Water Travel, and I'm coming at you with a new podcast this week about lists. Lists of what people put out and how they rank things and um, how you should, as a consumer, look at them. Um, so let's uh, let's get rolling in this uh, topic because this is a hot topic, especially around uh, spring break time. And it's about which resort should we go to or which cruise line should we uh, get on. And then we go and we Google it and we go top 10. And so I just did that. I did top 10 uh, resorts, all-inclusive resorts in Cancun. That's in Mexico, friends, in the Yucatan Peninsula. And um, I got uh, several lists that came up. Uh, We have top, I didn't put in top 10 lists, but we have top 12 lists from Travel and Leisure. That came up. I'm sorry. It's top 10 from Travel and Leisure. Top 12 that came in from Forbes. And then um, U.S. News World Report came back with a list of 25 uh, resorts in uh, Cancun. Let's start with the 25 list and just how we look at them and how they're ranked. This one is obviously uh, one that's put together by TripAdvisor. So they just went on TripAdvisor and grabbed all the TripAdvisor's uh, top ranked um, uh, resorts, which isn't a bad thing to do, just to see kind of an overall view of what people are generally saying about those resorts and the the ranking that they put them in. And um, I'm looking at the list and you know what? It's honestly, they're not bad resorts. There are a lot of really, really good resorts on here. There's only probably two or three resorts in this list that I wouldn't have on the list. Now, would there be other ones I would put on the list? Absolutely, I would put other ones on the list. Um, and we'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, the Forbes list, the top t- 12 in Forbes, they kind of broke it down into best all-inclusive resort in Cancun overall. Um, the one they put in, I would not have even remotely put that in as the best. The best high-end all-inclusive resort in Cancun, although it is a very nice resort, I wouldn't put it as the high-end all-inclusive resort uh, best category. Um, it's again all pretty subjective. Best boutique. I've been to this one also, um, and it's a very nice resort. I would have put that in the better uh, family resort category. Um, and they put best family resort. They had a whole other one. Um, the one I actually thought was kind of comical was uh, the best views in Cancun. And the one that they put in, I actually would put the one that is the best high end resort. So, um, the, you know, it's all uh, all in their list that you have. So it's it's very confusing sometimes. to go well, the best. Uh, the last one is the best uh, from travel and leisure. They just put this out in January. Beautiful picture of of the Cancun uh, resort area. Actually, I'm looking at the hotel. We just had a, a bunch of group come back uh, from that hotel um, just recently. And actually, the other one on the other side. Okay, so uh, sorry, I got distracted there. The, be- the first one they put in is LeBlanc uh, Spa Resort. Um, is really a very, very nice resort. Um, no complaints there. Hyde Ziva Cancun is also a very nice resort. Um, and then number three, they have Dreams Riviera Cancun. Um, I've a- we've actually stayed at this one also. Uh, very nice resort. I'm not sure it would be number three on the list, though, uh, for uh, the idea of the best resorts in Cancun. Uh, also, by the way, a side note here, the picture they have here of the Dreams Resort uh, Riviera Cancun is not um, the full resort. This is classic of, of the picture they have here is not actually the full resort picture. I don't know what they photoshopped out. They photoshopped the whole lobby out. They photoshopped uh, a lot out, actually. Um, so um, you never can actually believe what you see online. Also, I mean, this is what they have there is beautiful, and what they added on is also beautiful. Uh, but um, this is not the same resort. So you go there and go, oh, my gosh, this looks nothing like it, and that's true. Little side note there on pictures, um, and the list goes on. All you know, actually, really some nice resorts here. I just again wouldn't put some of them in, and I would move some of them up. And I'm wondering where in the world some of the other ones are. Um, and this comes down to, and basically, uh, my point for all of this when it comes to lists is it is super subjective, and you know that you know that about it. Uh, but we still fall into the 
the the trap of, oh my gosh, I'm going to go to this one. Because the reality is, um, the LeBlanc is a very nice resort, but it's also very, very expensive. Um, Or the the Playa, um, Casa La Playa down in Ishkaret is the most amazing of all resorts. It doesn't even come on any of these lists. Um, And it's also very, very expensive. Um, So it should be very good. Uh, The point is, what is best isn't what is always best for you. And that's why, again, working with somebody that knows you and is having a conversation with you and talking with you is so important. That's why I'll say, use a travel agent, use a travel advisor, use a travel professional that can have a conversation with you that actually has been to or has done way more research than you have on these resorts to mix them up with um with you and what you are desiring as a traveler and then you have this great experience or at least a way better experience um i've had some people go no i really really want to go to these types of resorts and so i will try to pull together the resorts that do have nice pools but also have nice beaches and nice waters by the way um best beaches in cancun doesn't also i always mean best water um it's, uh, it's you know, you could have good sand, but not great water. You can have great water, not great sand. Um, but that's also needing somebody to be there. So I would always say to you, uh, do some research. Yes. do I always don't mind when people come to me and like, I've looked at some of these things. What about these resorts? And I will give you my feedback on it. But before I give you my feedback on that resort, I'll ask you what you want in a trip, what type of trip you want. So I'll ask you questions like pool, uh, ocean, sand, uh, uh, views, all of those things. I want to see where you are um, uh, hitting and wanting so that we can nail it down to, and usually, especially in the Cancun region, usually just by a quick talk, I can I can really narrow it down even before I look at prices and all of that to a couple of resorts that would be a best fit for you and your uh, friends and families and groups. So that you get a text like this that I got just this last weekend from a, a couple going down to uh, the Cancun re- uh, region. A text, this place is amazing. Thank you for everything. Phones are getting put away for a few days, but we'll catch up when we get back. I don't know how you know what you know, but you definitely have this vacation thing figured out. Thank you, thank you, thank you, end quote. Those are the types of texts that just absolutely jazz me uh, up and get me fired up uh, that I, I help match a couple to uh, the resort that would best fit them. So uh, look at the lists all day long. I'll just tell you right now, there's some really crappy resorts on these lists because you know what, friends? A lot of times they actually pay to, excuse me, they get paid to put on these lists. And so you are paying for top billing in the booking engine. So even when you look on Expedia, those people, those companies are paying to get first billing. You know this in your head again, but you always think, oh, that's the one that's the preferred uh, resort. It must be good. And again, might be amazing, might be the best resort ever, but it might not be the best resort ever for you. So take it all with a grain of salt, uh, work with a travel professional. I'd love to uh, reach out and have a conversation with you, especially when it comes to all-inclusive resorts, all-inclusive cruises, and um, all-inclusive tours. Uh, there's lots of tour uh, groups around the world. Also, the same thing uh, uh, plays out with them of what is quote-unquote best. So have an awesome day, fellow Wanderers. Thank you for joining me today about looking at top 10 lists or top 12 lists or top 25 lists or top whatever list you might be looking up today. Uh, Comment in uh, anywhere you might see, comment online, comment in the podcast about um, maybe some uh, experiences you've had with top 10 lists or what you're looking up for top 10 um, also for when it comes to travel. Have an awesome day. Reach out at Joseph at SmalltownWanderer.com. We'd love to help you with all your all-inclusive cruises, tours, and resorts trips today. See ya.